Hey guys, um, so welcome back to this um, In Search of uh, Kizomba video series. So in the last episode, we we analyzed uh, the difference between uh, two um, styles of Kizomba. As I said, like um, the one looked close to Semba and the other one uh, did not. So we'll see like a few more examples of that today and just just i'm just trying to establish that there is some confusion and and um, if if you slow down semba then that uh, what we get may not be may not result in what what we call kizomba that is prevalent now so that is that is that is the point of 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 of, of this whole thing so let's go ahead and watch this video this is um, by a dancer this is like a, a, one of the pioneers of uh, uh, kizomba uh, dance is helio santos uh, let's go ahead and watch How beautiful was that amazing now we'll watch one more video um, this is Tony Pirata of, of course like if you're into example you probably know who Tony Pirata is and he's like huge this is like is is a very old video this was in 2011 and uh, this I think this was 2013 the, the one that we watched so let's um, go ahead and watch this as well
this is this is what I'm um, this is what I'm I'm trying to say. So if you see these two dances, I mean these both of these dances, I believe um, if I'm not wrong, they are they are from Cape Verde. So uh, Cabo Verde. So what I um, see in these two dances, say for example, let's uh, open a paint. This is better for everybody. Okay, so in these dances, say, um, let's consider these as Kizomba. Okay, Kizomba, uh, Cape Bird, Verdian, Kizomba variant. Maybe Angolan Kizomba variant. So what we see here in 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 the the Cape Verdean, we can see lots of um, glide groovy. I'm I'm what I'm trying to say is the dance is is, is smooth. As in um, sensual and um, um, a lot of um, musicality, and the emphasis is on jinga. Okay, there there is not many lifts. This is. Um, this is what we see and this is what we don't see there's not many hooks in fact there is no hooks there is no fishing or what what whatever you want to call it there is no um there is um an, an not Acrobatics, which which uh, Simba is 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 is, is, a, is, a, is a lot of acrobatics. By acrobatics, I mean um, a drag. You know where uh, the guy you know sits and then the girl drags the guy uh, in circles, which we see a um, a lot in um, um, the Simba variant. Now let's let's um, um, go to. Uh, well, I'm not sure if if this is visible here. Maybe I'll write it down. Uh, like um, Angolan Kizomba variant. Now I'm not saying there are two variants of Kizomba. We are just analyzing the difference between these these two styles that we have seen so far, and what i think um are the differences now i've just named it like angolan variant and kizomba variant just to give just just to give some perspective as to this is this looks close to semba and this does not look anything like semba okay this looks close to pasara uh, let's say we'll we'll will uh, we'll come to this later we'll talk about this later okay now this one has um lifts hook by hook i mean like fishing where you lift your leg and then the a lady uh, uh, um lifts her leg as well and the there's drags where um the lady um you know uh, the guy lets uh, himself dragged by the lady in different postures so so this this there's this distance here so why are these two styles so different and considering all of this like considering all of this is it possible that Kizomba evolved from Semba. I don't think this is possible because um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you why. Because it's, it's, um, it's, say for example, you, let's, um, go to a new, say for example, you, you choose a dance, right? You, um, choose a dance. Say uh, here you have uh, on the one hand you have Semba, on the other hand you have uh, um, Kizomba. Okay, Zone Semba, Zone Kizomba. So we all um, like a certain dance because of certain certain uh, qualities about the dance be it um be it uh, the the feeling when you the feeling that you get when you dance the song or be it the energy or be it the 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 uh, f mm, uh, the playfulness or be it the sensuality or be um be it so there are lots of things because at the end of the music most importantly the, the music so it, um i'm 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 not sure about others but i i'm more of like a, a zone kind of person say for example if i if i if i like something i i i, I like something because i like to be in that zone so I like I dance Kizomba because I like the music. I like being in that zone. Um, I like dancing Kizomba because I like this the sensual uh, this uh, the sensual thing about it. I like I like the music. I like the laid back uh, feeling that you get when you dance Kizomba. I like the compa element in Kizomba. The the laid back trippy element in 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 kizomba when i dance kizomba and i like the because of which i like the musicality and i i um and 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 so, so i i just like to be in that zone but now for 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 someone who likes semba he probably likes he probably learns semba to, because he he likes being in that zone, being in the Semba zone, like being being hyperactive, being um, uh, uh, being able to lift the girl and show off, being able to um, you know uh, be very playful and and um, um, uh, lots of other things. I I I I I'm not a big fan of Semba, I, I'm so I'm not able to come up with more reasons but you get the point right so i i don't know if 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 you if if you the, the creative um, uh, if 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 you want to get creative you have to really be in this zone and and uh, if 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 you if you have been dancing simba for your whole um, um, for the whole like most of the time and you just uh, uh, dance um, Kizomba uh, uh, um, and try to adapt Semba to the Kizomba music I don't think you you can be creative you know what I mean it means like dumbing down your 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 moves to adapt to a, a different kind of music which you which you may not particularly like being in the zone of I'm not, I'm not saying that those who like Semba don't like Kizomba I, I I'm not saying that but mostly we all have we all have that one favorite right like you you there could be some people who like who who likes to dance two or three dances but majority of the people we like w one particular dance we are we are the most uh attracted towards one particular dance and music right and that's when you get creative and you get you get to experiment and all that so i don't think if this if semba dancers by dumbing down and slowing down to the to the music of kizomba could have been any creative so so se se semba I mean, it, it would have looked like 
uh, if 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 uh, that was the case it would have looked like the the video that we watched the earlier time where you just pretty much do the same kind of semba moves but to a slower music but which is not the case uh, 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 here this in this video here or in this video here so what we see is 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 true um there's a lot of jinga there's a lot of musicality there's a lot of there's a lot of love and and uh, and it's not just pasara either so there there has been some kind of uh, innovation in that um, area and i don't think semba dancers could have done that i'm not saying it is not possible but it doesn't it doesn't look likely that it could have happened is what i'm trying to say um i hope i <laughs> made my point clear um okay yeah so let's uh, wrap this up for now we'll um, uh, see you in another video of uh, in search of kizomba thanks a lot guys for watching this bye bye